Hey guys, Kyle from Z1 Motorsports. Here today we are gonna change oil on a new Nissan Z. Today we have a lift. Uh, you may not have a lift at home, but same principles apply. Let's get started. Today we're gonna use the Nissan Competition. We're gonna do uh, 030 for this car. Uh, we also have a Nissan oil filter and we have a crush washer for the drain plug. This little guy. And for all our oil change kits, we have a drain plug. Oil change sticker. It's, it's all good. It's gotta remove this uh, this cap. And Step why do we want to remove this cap? Because uh, you want to be able to vent the engine as it's draining. It'll drain much faster. Also, in the event that it's stuck, you don't want to drain all the oil out, and then you don't have oil in your engine. You're stuck. <laughs> all right. So we have a Z1 under shroud. So let's remove it. Step two, remove service panel. It's already gone. All right, so oil filter. Let's make sure we can get that off. And why would we want to do the oil filter first? Because if it's stuck, kind of like this one, oh, then we won't have any oil in it if we drain it first. That'd be silly. Maybe we get a tool for that. Like this. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, next step, 14 millimeter wrench. It's usually what I use. Knock the drain plug loose. Ready? All right, so while the oil is draining, we're gonna go ahead and change out this uh, drain plug gasket washer guy and we will go ahead and fill the oil filter and move the over and get all that ready to go on. Why is it important to use a good quality oil filter? I always use Nissan oil filters. Uh, I've had issues in the past using some aftermarket ones. The filter element inside is like cardboard in some of the cheap ones. Uh, it'll fall apart and you lose oil pressure and then bye-bye engine. So. In some cases, like in this one, it's actually coming off pretty easy. I've had some instances where they're over tightened some or they've been reused a few times. Sometimes you just take a razor blade and just kind of fold up under it. Just kind of get it up on the first thread. Maybe grab it with a pair of pliers or something and just rotate it off. All right, some people might wonder how these things go on. Maybe that's up for debate, I'm not sure. But this is the way that I've always done it. Flat end of it is pointing out to set against the pan. Because of the plastic covering here, so nothing gets inside the filter while it's being stored, shipped, etc. Pop this guy off. Take our Motul competition oil. Go ahead and pre fill the filter a little bit. I usually fill it up until it reaches the threads and then let it kind of soak into the element. That's usually enough. If you fill it again after that, uh, you'll probably get some that's going to spill out as you turn it sideways to thread it onto the engine. So it's already pre-filled. The filter element is saturated with oil. It's gonna absorb it as it's sitting here. I'll go ahead and put a little bit more on it and lube the O-ring. So usually I say it's good and it's done draining when it reaches about this point where it's just a drip. It's not a steady stream anymore. Uh, you just get a few drips here and there. Uh, at this point, I'll go ahead and put the oil filter on. O-rings lubed, it's pre-filled. Uh, it might get a little bit spilling out to so keep your drain under. 
So once the gasket uh, touches the sandwich plate, you just need to give it uh, like it's just an initial contact. It actually says it right there. Screw filter on more than two thirds after initial contact. So we've already had initial contact. Usually go about about there. It doesn't need to be super tight. You don't want to go too tight. It's gonna be really hard to remove it next time. There's really no point in just threading it on so it won't go anymore. Hand tight. You don't need a tool. Just turn it. Once the gasket touches, give it two thirds of a turn, and you're good to go. Got our drain plug. It's down to a drip. Go ahead and install it. Uh, yeah, so there is a torque spec on here. I don't typically follow that, but I've been doing this long enough. I have a pretty good feel for what it, how tight is tight enough. Uh, you want to go to the point where you see, you want to be at the right angle. Uh, you see the gasket has crushed, it's flattening. Once it's flattened all the way and you start to get a little bit of tension on it, it just needs to just snug it up. Just kind of tell you, I'm not really putting a whole lot of pressure on it. You want to make sure that it's not going to fall out, but you also want to make sure that that gasket's good and sealed up, crushed nice and flat. That's it. Uh, once everything's installed, filters on, drain plugs in, take a rag, just wipe everything down. Real good. All right, so these aren't necessary, but they are very handy. You can find them on Z1Motorsports.com. Uh, they fit every, most every Nissan vehicle, and they prevent you from making a huge mess on your engine. They thread in nice. They have a little gasket here. Set it down until it stops. You're good to go. All right, so we filled the engine. We're gonna remove the funnel and we'll go ahead and reinstall the fill cap and hop in the car, start it up, let it run for 20 seconds or so. And then we'll shut it off and check everything for leaks, recheck the oil level. If we need more oil, we'll add more. Wipe the dipstick uh, and then reinsert it and then pull it back out and check it. You may need to flip it around because sometimes you'll get it, it's all over on this side, but over here, you got a nice clean line. We are about halfway. So let's say we add a little bit more and get it to the full mark. And so the, it has an L and a H, low, high. I would aim for the hole and I call it good. All right, so uh, normally these cars take 0 to 20. Uh, we are putting 0 to 30 in this car, 0 to 30 in this car for that reason of uh, added protection. We push this car to the limits. We take it to the strip, it's on the dyno. Uh, we drive it kind of hard. Uh, so if we needed added protection, we went with 0 to 30. All right, so we started up, ran it at the oil level set, check for any leaks. Didn't see any, it's time to install our service panel back on the vehicle. All right, so we've changed the oil, put the undershot on, cars on the ground, uh, got my oil change sticker here. Uh, we recommend doing every 5,000 miles or 12 months, whichever comes first. Uh, the book technically says every 12 months, 10,000 miles. Uh, but if you drive the car like an enthusiast, you drive it kind of hard, we recommend that you do it every 5,000 or 12 months, whichever comes first. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you change your oil on your new Nissan Z. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. If you need anything, uh, OEM or aftermarket, visit z1motorsports.com.